Should you invest in QQQ or QYLD? QQQ is the Invesco QQQ Trust Series 1 and QYLD is the Global X NASDAQ 100 Covered Call ETF. QQQ is the ETF that tracks the NASDAQ 100, the 100 largest non-financial companies listed on NASDAQ, Microsoft, Amazon, Tesla, Meta, PepsiCo, etc. QYLD is an ETF that tracks QQQ, but gives you a monthly dividend through covered calls. Basically, there are trade-offs for investing in QQQ and in QYLD. With QQQ, you're investing in stock appreciation, along with some dividend income every quarter. With QYLD, you're investing because of that monthly dividend income, but lack of appreciation. In the past 5 years, QQQ has arisen 128%, and QYLD has dropped 21%. However, during that same period, QQQ has paid you $7.92 per share in dividends, with an average QQQ of $234 per share, 3.3%. QYLD has paid you $12.19 per share in dividends, but with an average QYLD price of $21, 57.5%. So when it comes to dividends, there's no competition because QYLD just pays you a lot more and a lot more frequently, monthly versus quarterly. But stock appreciation must be taken into consideration because appreciation isn't taxed, while dividends are taxed as ordinary income. As I said earlier, QQQ has risen 128%, while QYLD has fallen 21% in the past 5 years. So let's say you invested $10,000 in QQQQ and another $10,000 in QYLD. Which is a better investment over those 5 years? QQQ Holdings appreciated by $12,845 along with about $557 in dividends, giving us about $23,000 today, 134%. QYLD Holdings depreciated to $8,800, adding about $5,147 in dividends, giving us about $13,954 today, 39.5%. So when we include both appreciation and dividends, it's clear that QQQ is a better investment in the long run. QYLD has a great concept with monthly dividends, but the loss in stock value does diminish its attractiveness. Dividends can be used to reinvest elsewhere, but that's very subjective and it really depends on where you put that money. If you cannot find a better place to put all that dividend money from QYLD, QQQ just makes a better sense as an investment. Remember, even if you do find a great place to invest that extra QYLD dividend income, it has to make up for the loss in QYLD's stock to make it a better investment than QQQ. So what are your thoughts? Are you investing in QYLD or QQQ? Comment below. And as always, take care of your money.